And I, I told you guys, you know, oh, we have to redo the, the box and, you know, this and that, and we have to do the Silverado 2.0. I could have just been like, oh, the, cu the customer wanted to upgrade. We did this, we did that, we did this, but no. I told you guys, hey, man, you know, we got to redo it. Customer wasn't happy. I'd look more worse if I, you know, title something, hey, upgrade into a bigger system, blah, 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 versus I had to rebuild the box or I had to tell you guys, Oh, the customer wasn't happy, so I'd rather be a thousand with you guys than, than, than be fake, you know, honestly. What is up, Mousetrap Game Man? We are back with another video, and let's just jump right into it real quick. So, for today, we got OBS Truck 2.0 in the works, and you know, the box is still in there, it's, it's just chilling in there, and it's just hanging out. So, basically, for today, we are gonna clean up the port, we are gonna wire all the subs up today we're gonna build a uh, panel to put the amps on the floor and we're gonna run all new wires inside the doors um, the wires in the console can stay um, the reason why I'm running wires in the doors is because I'm actually gonna right now everything's linked together which is fine but we're just gonna go ahead and separate it because um, we want to pump up these mids and the tweeters and we can't really pump it's pumped up right now but we can't really pump it up like we want to because um we don't want to like blow the tweeters up so now we can actually bump up the the mids and then the tweeters we could just turn it up a hair just so they can make that that sound you see what i'm saying so it's more mid than tweeter um so we can separate all that and then wire everything up at the amp and then um i think after that everything should be ready to rock and roll guys um so for right now what i'm actually going to do I'm actually just gonna uh, drill a hole so I can run the speaker wire and then I'm gonna silicone it up and let it sit there um, pretty much for a good little minute and then after that I am gonna cut the floorboard out and carpet it and get that mounted in there so then we get rid of all like the woodworking and all that other stuff out the way first so then after that we just concentrate on wiring the truck and then um, it is like 8 30 right now so i'm hoping to actually be done wiring the truck by at least so at least gives me at least uh like an hour or two to play with it adjust it make sure everything's like really good sounds loud and then play it for like a good solid 30 minutes to 45 minutes um mids at like full volume and subs just like beating just to make sure if it cuts off on me here we try to look what the problem is because he should be able to jam at least like for a good little minute i know he's not going to jam on it like crazy but he still needs to be able to to get on it um whenever he wants to and then we can actually get real good footage out of her today um unlike last time so you know everything always works out for the best i didn't get you guys much footage last time but guess what today we are going to be on point with the footage so let's get right into it man these are the tools that i have to use to um put the speaker wire in so we got some real nice 10 gauge uh, wire man that thing's very blurry let's try this again that's crazy but anyways so let's go with the video so um, these are the wire that I have uh, that I'm gonna put inside here so I'm gonna drill a hole out um, we got a drill bit that uh, we can make a nice tight fit hole but if we need to make it a hair bigger you know I got a, a smaller unit bit and then so we drill the hole we run the wire then we silicone it so it holds it in place and no leakage the only leakage we want is just the port and we're just gonna put it like somewhere like along the not too close to the corner but somewhere right there um, so it just drops all the way down we don't want wire like banging inside the box we just want to hear nothing but pure bass so let me drill this out uh, and then um, I'm gonna cut the the wood out so all the woodwork and everything's done all the hard part okay so the little panel is built so it's gonna go just like that um, it's like a half inch thick on the back wall so it'll matches up with this so it doesn't stick out more and it just sits flat and we got our little slot where we are gonna run our wires through and it just sits down right there and so it's gonna get three screws going up against the box and then probably like three screws going down so that thing does not you know move or shake or nothing um, and it actually gives a little bit more airflow to the uh, the amps, so it should be pretty good. So now, what I actually got going on is I'm still gonna let the um, speaker wire dry up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take off the uh, 
this side uh, panel right here because the battery needs to go back in. So now basically we start wiring this guy up and we're gonna take that panel off, put the battery in, put the battery box, put the battery in and then connect the terminals up to it. And then all kinds of stuff, but I'm gonna actually vacuum this guy out real quick just so it's um, clean as I go, you know what I'm saying? We don't want a messy truck. All right, so panels are mounted in, batteries in, connect it. I took all the mids out right now. And like I said, we're actually gonna run two wires in each door and then the console wire stays the same, but we need to pull those speakers out as well because we need to rewire them inside there. Because the eights and those sixes are all gonna get um, their own channels, so we can pump those guys up a little bit more. And then the tweeters, we can just slowly bring them in, so they just make that k -k -k sound. So I think that amp that we're using, the Terra amp, it is two ohm uh, mono, I think, man. That's what make those amps so good, so they're like very powerful and 4 ohm too they put out pretty much the same power at the same uh ohmage but we're just going to put the the load actually 2.5 because since it's the eight speakers so let's uh crack open the speaker wire look let me show you guys so we actually have a whole spool of speaker wire that we're going to use real quick and so everything gets refreshed even if i just put a system in last week i always just go ahead and put a brand new speaker wire in there just because um i don't want any issues i don't want nothing you know all fresh new everything so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do with this guy so let's get her done guys right, so quick update guys so we actually have Terra amps in uh, the wires are still somewhat loosely out because um, I'm still gotta adjust some stuff and then once I get done I am gonna zip tie um, the press of the cables and tuck them nicely so you don't see nothing but we got everything heat shrinked everything ready to rock and roll the mids and highs are wired in and I think these things are gonna talk really good so all that's really left is put the four subs in and put the fuse underneath the hood and we can fire this up guys and then uh, I'm gonna give you guys like good video footage of everything when the tr trucks flex and plane and everything so uh, I didn't do that last time but for this time we are gonna do it man you know what I'm saying um, so basically I separated the, the the eights and the sixes are together because I want to throw a little bit more um, mid bass to those guys so those things can really like talk um, we want a little bit of mid bass because that's what those are for, for but we can adjust everything with the EQ So we can get a little bit more mid mid bass uh, Somewhat some high frequency, but not a lot, but the high frequency will come in with the tweeters um, Because that's gonna fill in that gap to give it that extra, you know that x -x -x Sound so once everything's all leveled out pretty good um, It's gonna you know match together and the tweeters are on their own channel with their own uh, gain knob on it so i'm telling you so we can just slowly bring those guys in so they're not overpowering the mid so you hear more mid than tweeter and you that thing is going to talk okay so basically the amp is one ohm so we're going to wire all the subs up to um one ohm mono and they're going to just go uh, parallel each one uh till we get to the last one right here and that's where the wire is at the the silicone dried so it's sealed and like i said I probably didn't have to seal it up, but it's good to seal it up because we only want air coming out through that port and nowhere else. Um, and it's gonna jam, and we got the wire right there ready to rock and roll. Drill's charged up, so that thing can get it. So we moved along, and everything, like, I'm gonna tuck all that away. I'm gonna tuck that away. But I just got done putting the subs. They are mounted in there. Um, like I said, they're um, all wired down to one ohm, and then from there it drops down, and that's where we end up right there. And one ohm, that's what that, the 3K asked for. So we got it turned down right now. So when we fire this guy up, we adjust the mids first and then slowly bring in the subs so we can adjust everything right. So all that really is left before we fire this guy up is put the fuse. So before I go ahead and I fire this guy up, I wanna thank all you guys for watching all the videos. Um, this build, we had to redo it. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot better now. Um, the subs are seen and it's gonna fire pretty good. And we'll see what we, we can do. So I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and let everybody know, man, we build stuff like that. Look at that. Who's ready to hear this thing bang, man? Like that video if you're ready to see this thing bang. Listen, don't pull up to this truck unless you're ready to, uh, and unless you got some stuff and you're ready to, to handle, dude. This truck is no freaking joke. And uh, um, this box design that I actually did for this, I actually had it in my Blazer. I had an S10 Blazer back in the day, and I had the subs firing up with the port firing back. But it was really loud in my truck. I had uh, 412s in it with one of those old school MA Audio 
um, hardcore amps, the long ones. And man, that thing got it. And this thing right here, guys, man, that box design ain't no joke. That formula, man, that's that secret uh, Krabby Patty recipe, man. What I'm actually gonna even do is, when I'm demoing the vehicle to the dude, I'm gonna go ahead and have the other homeboy hold the camera and put the camera on him because I want his reaction on video so you guys can be the testimony to see like, dang, how crazy it is. You know, obviously we'll do a B-roll on it, but you'll see his reaction, you know what I'm saying? So let me clean this all up real quick and then I will use some copyright free music that I got and so we can jam it so you guys can see this thing flexing. Look at this thing. Well, basically all what we gotta do is take these um, RCAs and speaker wire and these RCAs that are right here and vacuum this up put the console in it and just set the seat in it and this guy's ready to rock and roll um, man this thing is no joke guys like I don't even know what to say right now this thing is very loud so let me finish that stuff up and then we'll do some killer uh, footage of this truck jamming are you ready to see some stuff shake real quick All right, let's see if we can get it This truck is officially complete. It is ready for this weekend for this truck show. Anybody want smoke? Man, right, pull guys, up. So let's recap the truck real quick before they pick it up. Just so if this is your first time watching my videos, so you know what's going on. So we have a uh, GMC OBS truck that we built door panels, quick carpet fiberglass door panels with two eights and a bullet style tweeter in it. Uh, the console was already there but uh, we swapped it out and put PRB speakers in it before it had DS18s. Um, those DS18 tweeters, they don't sound that good, so they're not actually plain, so I am telling them to get PRB tweeters for that. On the other side, we have uh, the, the PRV8s along with the same tweeter. Um, so we actually have uh, the Terra Amps 3K base series. We have the Terra Amps DS800-4 amp for the mids and highs. Very good amps, you know, um, they sound phenomenal. We got our wiring right there. RCA's everything tucked very nice. We have um, connections with a uh, heat shrink on it. We have our wire tucked away, everything good. And for the box, we actually got four Sundown E12 um, dual uh, subwoofers and a ported enclosure. And we got a uh, flush mount uh, panels on each side. Let's close out this video. All right, so the uh, white Silverado is done. Um, man, that, that was a good build right there. Um, like I said, we have run into some issues and we had to rebuild the box and i mean i really don't see there's nothing wrong with that you know um so my advice to you guys when you guys are doing consultation or you know whatever you're going to build something for someone or if you are the customer talking to somebody man be very descriptive of what you want you know and how should i say this 
energies don't lie, man. You see what I'm saying? If you expect for something bad to happen and, you know, you're looking forward for something bad so you can find something to complain about, guess what's going to happen? The worst is going to come out. Um, and But it's all about, you know, like me, I don't, give, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to redo it, we can go ahead and redo it. I, man, you know, we make more content, you know, get more out the videos than anything. You know, I, I to me, that don't me make a difference. And I, I told you guys, you know, oh, we have to redo the, the box and, you know, this and that. And we have to do the Silverado 2.0. I could have just been like, oh, the, the customer wanted to upgrade. We did this. We did that. We did this. But no, I told you guys, hey, man, you know, we got to redo it. Customer wasn't happy. I look more worse if I, you know, title something. Hey, upgrading to a bigger system, blah, 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 versus I had to rebuild the box or I had to tell you guys, oh, the customer wasn't happy. So I'd rather be a thousand with you guys than, than, than be fake, you know, honestly. So remember, man, on both sides, consultation is always key. Like I'm a barber, so I always have to ask everybody exactly what is it that you want, you know, and now, you know, you learn as you go because i'm not this ain't no no custom car audio shop man we're, we're chilling in the garage and we're getting it you know although we can do some nice stuff and build some loud stuff you know it, it's still a garage i don't have a, the state of the art you know the router table the state of the art templates uh i do have a nice term lab box building program that you know is very expensive to have and i do have it and and i had a guy in the comments i actually read today because i was so busy i didn't even um read the comments uh till just a little while ago talking about Oh, it should have been done the right the first time, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was going to take you my truck, but now after this, I'm just going to take it, you know, somewhere else. And that's fine. I mean, shay, that, that's, that gives me more time to, you know, handle my stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I really don't necessarily do this for money, although it does make a little extra bucks. But, you know, it's more really to put content out and on YouTube, you know, and we're only barely getting started. You see what I'm saying? And... You live, you learn, and you go on to the next project. Look, I already have another truck. I have a whole other truck right here. Single cab, ready to get work on. Uh, my boy Cleo, we're doing the, the console on his. Look, very nice uh, single cab, like a quick preview of tomorrow's video. And so he already has the box made, and we're just gonna make it look a little bit more prettier. So now back what I was saying. I, I'm not here to be a shop. I'm not here to take everybody's builds, you know what I'm saying? I just do whatever falls into my schedule. I have a little free time Monday through Wednesdays, and if I can get a car in there to do, you know, I go ahead and do it. And I turn down so many people. If I feel a bad vibe from somebody, I, I just don't even respond back to them because not all money is good money, you feel me? Some money will make you get headaches, some money you'll regret making it, uh, and so it goes a long way. So I just really just try to, you know, do stuff for people that I really, you know, mess with and are really cool with the other people, you know, I mean, I don't care what anybody says because, you know, I feed my kids and, you know, I pay my bills, so no one pays my bills. If someone were to pay my bills, then, you know, yes, you know, I'd put importance to it, but other than that, you know, it, nothing really matters. But anyways, that's not even what this video is intended for. This video is intended to let you know that we built a loud ass system and the system got done and he's going to be jamming this weekend. Um, so tomorrow's video we are going to be sanding the um the city panel and we might get on video a little bit of starting the console so subscribe to the channel definitely drop them comments man i love all the comments you know good bad whatever it helps the algorithm of the videos so man stay tuned we got a lot of stuff still pumping man so i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace